reverse tech pass against the key guard, okay? The reverse tech pass you guys can use it in different, different type of guards, especially when the person is kind of looking for a new, okay? I'm gonna explain first uh, how it looks like the pass, and then I'm gonna explain for the key guard, okay? This should be easier to guys see. Turn the other way, Andres, your head dress. Imagine Andres is inverted here, right? And I end up in this position with him, okay? He's inverted. I know getting inside here, getting inside control here is really hard against flexible people, okay? You can try, but uh, it is hard, okay? If you'll be able to place your head to one side and you're under looking the other side, let's say if I try to bring it more forward inside my head to the other side, I'm gonna be able to win the legs. But it's, it's very hard against a flexible point, okay? People who play this type of game, they feel really comfortable in this position. Is uh, if you put guy in this position or Tyson, they can stay stay here forever. You know, they don't even feel uncomfortable. Okay. So I have a few ways, especially if the person starts to have her ankle grip or control her legs, it's very hard to move him back. That's important you guys know how to win swiper over the leg. Okay. So what I mean with that, I'm gonna start to use my knee over his shin, and I'm gonna start to win swiper to get this position. Okay, you guys are very easy with this position, the leg drag pass, right? I can start to bring his hips, his leg towards my, my lap, and I start to go with the leg drag pass, bring his hips down. Okay, but sometimes, people who know how to defend it, they like to start to open the leg, and sometimes it's hard to bring this leg over the leg. You know, like sometimes the leg is becoming really heavy here, and it's kind of like a hard to bring the leg over the leg. Okay. In this case, the reverse stack is a very good option, okay? What is the reverse stack? I'm gonna make this grip here inside, and I'm gonna try to find with my grip on his collar, turn this way. I'm gonna try to find with the grip in the collar with my palm facing up, like this. If he's no gi, I go all the way across in the hips. I'm not gonna make any grip, but I go all the way across in the hips. But if you guys have the leverage of the gi, try to use with this grip on the collar, right? My shoulder, look how my shoulder is on top of his leg. My shoulder is going to start to go to the side of his leg because I need to use my shoulder to push him, okay? If I have this grip on the leg, I prefer to grab it on the pants or on the ankle, okay? You guys are going to see why in a little bit. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to use my shoulder to drive him that way and my leg work is super important. What I want, people who play with the hips off the floor, they feel comfortable in this position. It's easier to get inverted. What I want is bring his hips to the floor. I want to defeat the hips, push the hips down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to walk towards this way. My shoulder is going to start to push him. Look, and I start to get his position. Okay, remember I explained about this grip. When I have this grip, I can start to bring his leg up and start to bring my leg underneath, like that. Because that way, it's hard to bring him to sit down, it's hard to bring him to sit up, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna let go of everything and try to stabilize in the side of the end. I'm gonna try to get three steps. I'm gonna keep the wall towards the other side to the leg drag position. And when his knees start to face the other way, like this, I'm gonna trap now with my elbow. Look how I trap his arm with my elbow. My arm goes kind of like behind my leg. And I trap his whole legs with my elbow to try to avoid him holding his legs. When I keep the wall towards this way, I start to get the near side under the hook. And if I get the near side under the hook, it's very easy for me to start to get double under hook. And you guys know how it is, like when you get double under hook, it's very hard to escape. It's hard to sit up, it's hard to do anything here. Okay, so that's the, the reverse stack pass. Okay? So first time I saw that, Professor Galvão in the seminar, he showed when the person has the squid guard, Right? The person starts to go to the squid guard. Usually when the person goes to the squid guard, look, my leg is trapped in this position. Okay, what I have to do is it's gonna be really similar to guys gonna do today. Look, I'm gonna drop my knee on top of his belly and this grip starts to go under. Look. And then when I start to go around his head, look, I start to defeat the squid guard. Okay, using the, the reverse step. If you face it, get inverted. If you face this type of inversion, and the person doesn't have a control of our legs, you don't need to win swiper over the shin. You just go around and you trap the leg with your knee. Okay, way easier, right? So let's say you're here, you're going for it, like you don't know what to do. Go around the legs and you start to trap with your knee and the other knees start to block in the hips. Leg drag is always a good option here. 
fall to the side and try to get the leg drag. Is the other option here? But like I say, sometimes, don't spend too much time here. If you feel the leg is too heavy, you cannot pull in. It's better go to the reverse stack. You know, it's a better option, okay? So my hands go inside. I try to find if it's gi the collar, if it's no gi the hips, all the way through. My shoulders start to push your hips to the floor, and then start to move towards this leg. And as soon as I get here, don't stop, look. I bring the leg up, and I bring my knee inside, look, over his leg. And then I keep it off towards this way. And now, I have it like that. Okay? I want you guys to see from this position. I want you guys to be familiar with that. Go on your knees, okay? Imagine you have a double leg here. I take him down, and I end up here. So for sure, if he's a, a smart opponent, they're gonna to start to frame my shoulders, they're gonna to start to push my shoulder, and they're gonna to try to shrimp out. Maybe if I try to walk to the side control, that's when the person escape, brings them inside. The standing move towards the head, if I end up here with the, with the double leg, look, I move towards this way, look. And look how he sits straight the other way, and he sits like that. Okay, just should I see the big picture. Uh, Omar, come here, please. Andre, see him, boy. With the gear, I'm just gonna show you guys some options. Go to the kick guard now. Start from the close guard. Right. The, most of the people who use kick guard, they like to go to a position called matrix, okay? It's a back take from the kick guard. So Andre is gonna swing this leg around. He's gonna do a kind of like a calf slicing uh, control on his knee, he's going to start to push Professor Mar forward. He's going to start to free his knee, and now he has the crab right position. And he's starting to attack the back. Of course, it's a very technical position, okay, but uh, uh, you see people do this very often nowadays, okay? So the other one, a little bit more simple than that. Wonder. Yeah. So Andre starts to hook with the outside leg, he starts to hook his, uh, Professor Mar knee, and he starts to put himself underneath. Now he has a single leg X or the X. And from there, he can start to sit up or take it back. So it's, 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 it's a lot of options from there, okay? In no gi, uh, Professor Nathan Chris, in no gi, it's super common people going to the backside 50-50 to attack the heel move, just you guys see. So Professor Nathan control the leg, he start to go around, and now he's going to the rib in the other leg. Look. In that position, he starts to attack the heel. Chris can roll out or he can attack from here. So look, the heel is going to be exposed and he's he starts to attack the leg. Okay, in no gi, you see this very often. It's a in no gi, in my opinion, is a little bit dangerous because the leg lock is, is more, uh, is, is a little bit easier to attack from there. Okay, and because the lack of grips, it's hard to hold in the legs. Okay, so that's the overall view, just so you guys understand. Now it's gonna be easier for you guys to understand the position. Let's say when Andre go in here, my main goal, I know this control is too much already. He already has my knee pulling to his, to his leg. More I stay tall, more my leg is gonna be exposed, more space, more space I'm gonna give him. I need to go in down, okay? Kind of like a reverse knee on belly. I need to go in down and my leg needs to be always exposed. If I place this knee on the floor, a little pushing he does with this leg, my leg is totally exposed then it's hard to defend, okay? I need to be able to maintain this grip, okay? Like holding this grip to don't let his leg go around, and I need to maintain myself heavy on top of him, okay? But with this grip, I cannot pass. I need to switch. When he's get here, try to fight with the leg around. He's gonna be fighting with the leg around. I'm gonna try to manage this leg, and I'm gonna try to control with the reverse grip, like this. Then you guys can ask Professor, but uh, the one plant is not exposed here. If you make a mistake, it is. Like, if you if the person break the grip, and you don't pull the leg, the omoplata is gonna be here, okay? So I need to always manage this, this grip by pulling the leg, okay? So this grip, I'm never gonna let the person open too much, and I'm gonna leave there. Because it's gonna be easier to enrich, break, now my arm is gonna be exposed, okay? I need to pull in his leg towards me, like this. The other thing that people do a lot is place this leg under the armpit to try to push me forward. And if I create this off balance, it's easier to hand attack my leg if it's created this off balance. If that happens, push me forward. Andre. Look, that's the leg you're gonna base up. I'm gonna move back and I'm gonna, with a C grip, I'm gonna push right here. 
I'm gonna push his leg and I'm gonna cover with my arm. So in this position, I have a way better control. Now my grip is starting to get in under. If there is a space, I just make my grip on the, on the cup. If there is no space, I bring the knee more up and I create the space I have. I need to have. Now when I get here, a lot, a lot of people yesterday got stuck here. The person keep pulling the knee, right? And you get stuck to walk. Try to step first with the outside leg and then you step over the head, look. That makes sense? So I do one, I bring my leg a little bit back and I step over the head. And now I go side this way. Okay? If you're the person who keep holding your leg, you kind of like a sprawling look. You have a time here. Okay, you have a full control. You bring the leg over the lap, and then same thing, walk towards that way, and you establish the position. You know, here, the only difference is the grips. I'm gonna try to do my best first to grab the leg on my leg, like this, to avoid his swing all the way around. And when he starts to open up the leg, I'm gonna try to control both legs with one grip, with both grips, like a two and one control. What is important? This grip here, the grip how is gonna stop the, the swing of the leg, need to be like this. My fingers need to face this way. Any grip you make here is gonna be able to break. I need to grab with the hands like this, facing the foot, okay? So same thing here, if you try to push me, I try to push and drag. That's my base, I move myself back. Try to always have this leg, guys, in the same line of your knee. Okay, that helps a lot. I push the leg around, and look, I cover with my hamstring. Now I go with the hips, I do a little step with my outside leg, and I start to go around. And I'm gonna end up in the same position. Now, because you guys don't have a grip in the pants, try to kind of like a double leg the knees. Now bring the knees up and put yourself under. It's super important to trap the leg with your elbow. You keep walking towards this way, and you have double, uh, double side under. Okay, so just one more time, then you guys gonna move. So you end up in the key guard. First thing you have to do, lower your base and control this leg. This leg is the key. If you be able to hold this leg, you'll be harder to the person attack. The person is gonna try to go around you, you switch the grip and try to pull and manage this leg. Like a pulling, pushing, like sometimes pushing down. So maintain control of the leg, okay? If you try to push me here, I cover with my armpit, and more I go clo close to his knee, better I control I have. More his knee popped out, better for me. More his knee is inside, more piece of his legs inside, better for him. More piece of his legs outside, better for me. Okay, so I get my grip. If there is no space, bring the knee up. When you control, you do one, two, and you go to the reverse. Stack press. And then you have. Okay? Let's give it a try. I know it's, 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 a, it's not a basic position, right? It's an advanced position. But I think you guys can do it, right? Let's give it a try. If you guys have questions, put your hands up. Bye. One, two. Let's go.